Hello Booktube. Today I'm going to be doing the History Trail Tag. Um, the tale was created by the novel Nomad some years ago and Bill Rutenberg I think has done some tag necromancy and resurrected it. And I saw it originally on his channel. So let's get started. Uh, prompt number one. First steps. What book, movie, person, or place introduced you to history or historical fiction? Um, I would say probably the same movies that introduced me to fantasy. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer, Red Sonja, Beastmaster, Clash of the Titans. Those movies really ignited my fascination with the ancient world and Greek mythology and fantasy. And as the years passed, my interests, um, the time periods that I've become interested in have increased. But there really was never like a single book or a place that really ignited my love of history and I never had um, a teacher or a history teacher or reading teacher for that who really ignited my love of like fantasy or for the purposes of this tag history. Um, I really grew my love for the subject independently of any individual uh, intercession or encouragement boring watching Conan and uh, Red Sonja and Beastmaster and Clash of the Titans as a toddler or very early elementary school student. Um, prompt number two. Will Trodden Path. What is your favorite historical recommendation, book, place, or movie? Um, so for this one, I'm going to go with a relatively recent read. Uh, for books, I'm going to pick um, These Truths, um, History of the United States by Joe Lepore. Um, this is a fantastic history of the U.S. Um, from the uh, Columbus um, reaching Hispaniola to the near present. The election of um, Donald Trump but this is fascinating it's mostly a political history but still just an amazing book um, for the place I would go with one that I've actually been to um, and that would be the San Jacinto monument in um, like near Houston I went there as I think early elementary no not early elementary early junior high I think I, I we went to the Houston area I mean my mother's family's from the Houston area uh, but the um, we went there for an, an extended vacation and we went to the San Jacinto Monument where my brother freaked out because he is afraid of heights. And the um, obelisk monument uh, is you can go up and survey the um, battlefield. And my brother was quite scared of that. Uh, we also went on that trip, I think, to NASA, uh, where I picked up a introduction to like the breaking edge of physics uh, which went over my head because I was way too young to really read it and I think we also went to Moody Gardens that trip and uh, some battleship I think maybe the battleship Texas and maybe went to the beach and got oiled <laughs> during that trip too um, as far as movie is concerned um, I'm 
going to go with a bit more recent, well, not quite recent movie, but in historical time period and not fantasy. But I would recommend the French film Danton about Georges Danton starring Gerard Depardieu. It's quite a good movie. It's been ages since I've seen it. Um, I think I watched it a few times on Bravo when Bravo was a decent channel and not crap like it has been for the last 10, 15 years. Um, prompt number three. Good boots. What is your favorite historical fashion era? Um, I would say the Renaissance or um, Song China or Song Dynasty China. Um, although, I mean, I'm not as read up on historical fashions as I would like to be. I mean, particularly for somebody who wants to write science fiction and fantasy, particularly fantasy, knowing what people wore historically um, is highly beneficial. I mean, unless you want to go with fantasy costuming, which is cool too. Um, but that is one area that I would like to read more about. But I would say probably I quite like Renaissance fashions and uh, Song Dynasty China. But there are quite a few others I also really like. Uh, prompt number four, close to home. What is a historical read set in your home country? You know this is coming. Big Wonderful Thing, A uh, History of Texas by Stephen Harrigan. Um, this is a massive soup to nuts um, history of Texas. Although it does cut off, I think, around um, the time of uh, George W. Bush's election to president. Um, there's a bit afterwards, but it's kind of like blitzed over. But this is just a wonderful history of Texas. Just absolutely wonderful. Love it. Absolutely love this that book. Uh, prompt number five. The trail not taken. What historical eras do you avoid? You know, honestly, I don't think there are any historical eras or subjects that I avoid. Um, I mean, there are certainly ones that I have more interest in, say, the ancient world or um, maybe, yeah, certainly like the ancient world, um, China, Japan, even though I have far too few books on both. Um, but then I'm also very interested in, say, Ethiopia and the Sudan and uh, Mexico and so it's like the more I, history I read, the more I think about, the more I'm interested in pretty much everything. Um, although some more than others, but I mean, there's no period or country or anything like that that I would avoid. Uh, see, prompt number six, a trail map. What historical reads or on your TBR. So I'm currently reading um, Agent Sonia by Ben McIntyre. It's for the book two prize. So the only thing I'm going to say is I'm reading it. <laughs> um, but once I finish um, Agent Sonia, I have uh, another book for the book two prize I'm going to read. And I also want to get to um, Dead Man's Folly. And then there's The City We Became, which I'm doing for the booktube spin. Um, so hopefully after I finish um, The City We Became, assuming I don't bail on it, um, I'm planning on probably not this weekend, but the next weekend, starting uh, Fifth Sun. By Camilla Townsend. <clears throat> this is a history of the Aztecs. I'm also planning on reading in the near future uh, Streams of Gold, Rivers of Blood by Anthony Cadellis. 
I'm going to have another go at Iran and Modern History by Abbas Amanat. I am not going to be waiting for Nonfiction November to read Philip and Alexander's Philip and Alexander by um, Adrian Goldsworthy. In the past few years, I've um, read an Alexander the Great biography during um, Nonfiction November, and I've quite enjoyed it, but I really would like to get to Philip and Alexander a little bit sooner. Just in case there is another big Alexander book coming out this year, I'd like to get that one in for Nonfiction November. And finally, Iron Curtain by Anne Applebaum. Um, the Crushing of Euro Eastern Europe, 1944 to 1956. So, this is my history TBR at some point. <laughs> I will get to them. Um, and finally, uh, prompt number eight. Tag your fellow history nerds. Um, I'm going to say Bill Rutenberg tagged most of the um, history-focused uh, booktubers that I know. Um, and who watch my channel, um, but I think, um, Alan Braswell of the Lonely Bookshelf, if you would like to do this, I consider yourself tagged, and if there are any, um, history buffs, oh yeah, uh, the Bookish Bryants too, um, and if anybody else would like to do this tag, uh, consider yourselves tagged. Um, thank you, BookTube, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.